Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today my topic is addition with the concept of carry forward. I have already made a video on addition explaining the concept of addition and including the single digit examples. So today in this video we are going to do more than one digit and what happens when carry forward comes into picture. So let's start the video. My first example over here is 64 plus 3. Now always write H T O ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands if the number is there. So now we have to add 64 plus 3. Always start with ones, then go to tens, then hundreds, and then thousands. So move from right to your left. So add 4 plus 3. Keep 4 in your mind. Count after 4 additional 3 numbers. 5, 6, 7. 7 comes here. 6 plus no number over here. So 6 comes down as it is. Answer is 67. Next example. Write again HTO 25 plus 32. Start with 1's. 5 plus 2. Keep 5 in your mind. Count after 5 additional 2 numbers. 6, 7. 7 comes here. Now move toward 10's. 2 plus 3. Keep 2 in your mind. Count additional 3 numbers. 3, 4 and 5. So 5 come here. Answer is 57. Next example. H, T, O, 16 plus 0. Starting with 1's again. 6 plus 0. Now whenever you add a number with 0 or 0 with any number, the answer remains the number. So 6 comes down. Now 1 plus, there is no number over here. So 1 comes down as it is. So answer is 16. Next example. Now H, T, O. 86 plus 14. Now starting with 1's, 6 plus 4. So count after 6 additional 4 numbers. 7, 8, 9 and 10. So I am getting a 2 digit answer. So how can I write 2 digit when I have additional number in my 10's place? So here comes carry forward into picture. So write 10 on the side. Whatever answer you get 6 plus 4 is 10. Write on the side. Now for better understanding, I am writing 10s and 1s. What you do is, the digit which is under the 1s place comes down. 0 comes over here. And the digit which is under the 10s place, that is 1, that goes over here. Correct? So this is done. So let's move towards 10s. Now I have 8 plus 1. Count after 8 additional 1 number. So 9. 9 and I have 1 over here. Now this 1 is supposed to be added because this is addition. So 8 plus 1 plus 1. So 8 plus 1 I got 9 and 9 plus 1 I will get 10. So answer is 100. Now I don't have any number below 100's place. So that is why my answer ends over here. Let's move forward. Now HTO 286 plus 1 and 4, 14. Now the example is same like this, 86 plus 14. I have just added 2 in the hundreds place to show what happens when carry forward takes place 2 times. When there is a number below hundreds place. So let's start counting from the ones again. 6 plus 4. Count after 6 additional 4 numbers. 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, now I am getting a 2 digit. I cannot write directly 10 over here because I have numbers below my 10's place. So I will write my 10 over here and I will write TO for better understanding. Now out of this, 0 will come over here and my 1 will go over here. 1's is done. Let's move towards 10's. 8 plus 1, 
count the after it additional one number that is nine and then I have one over here also this is supposed to be added because we are doing addition so eight plus one plus one so eight plus one I got nine and then nine plus one so count after nine additional one number so that becomes ten now again I am getting a two digit now I cannot write directly ten over here like in this example because here there was no number below 100's place. But here I have a number below 100's place. So what will I do? I will write 10 over here. Right? My 10 comes over here. Now from this again 0 will come over here. And the 1 will go over here. Okay? Like, like we did over here. Same thing. Now 0, 0. Now let's move towards hundreds. So I have now 2 plus 1. So count after 2 additional 1 number. So it becomes 3. So answer is 300 over here. So this happens when you know there is carry forward 2 times in a single sum. Now if you have number, now you have additional t over here for thousands and if you have number over here the sum will continue. But if you don't have the number over here, the answer is 300. Let's move forward to the next example. Write again HTO 26 plus 65. Start counting from the ones. 6 plus 5. After 5, count additional 5. After 6, count additional 5 numbers. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I am getting two digit number. I cannot write directly over here because I have numbers below my tens place. So now I have 11. One will come over here and one will come over here. So let's move forward towards tens place. Two plus one. Plus I have additional number over here that is six. So count after 2 plus 1. Count additional number after 2. So that becomes 3. 3 plus 6. Count after 3 additional 6 numbers. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So my answer over here is 91. So this is how we do carry forward. Now if I had a number below 100's place, the sum would have continued. Like if I had 1 over here, the 1 would have come down as it is because there is no number over here then. So 1 would have come down, so answer would have been 191. But there is no number, so sum, so my example ends over here. So 91 is my answer. So friends, I hope you like my video. So if you like, please share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.